Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WebGPU graphics programming. In the third video series, I explain how to create a simple WebGPU triangle with different vertex colors. In this video series, I will explain how to create a point and a line primitives in a web GPU applications. Again, we will use a Git tool to clone the source code used in the third video series. Here is a download link at a GitHub repository. You can download all the source code from this link used in the third video series. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command git clone copy this link. This will create a WebGPU03 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the code used in the third video series. Now we want to change the name of this uh, folder. WebGPU03 to GPU, GPU005 and CD into it. Okay, at this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. Okay, this is Visual Studio Code interface. First, we can close this welcome page. Now, here contains all the source code used in our third video series. Today, we are going to create a point and a line primitives. Web GPU has several built-in simple shapes. We call these basic shapes as primitives. Currently, Web GPU consists of five primitives. Uh, from here, you can see the five Web GPU primitives. They are point list, line list, line strip, triangle list, and a triangle strip. Today, we are going to discuss the first three uh, primitives, point list, line list, and uh, line strip. From here, you can see we are going to use six vertices to construct these uh, primitives. For point list, here is very simple. We just draw a point on each vertex. For line list, we draw each line segment for every two uh, vertices. You see here A, B, line, C, D, and E, F. It's a six vertices. We draw three line segments. For line strip, we draw a single line that passes through all the vertices. That is, for each additional vertex, we draw a line segment. For example, we have A, B. Then we add C, another vertex. We draw B, C, and so on. So we draw a continuous line passes through all the vertices. Now, let's start to create these uh, primitives. Open a new terminal window here and uh, use the command npm install to restore the npm packet. This may take a while to install. Uh, please be patient. Okay, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in this uh, node modules uh, folder. So now we want to make uh, some change to the index.html file from this folder. DRST open index.html file. First, we need to make a change to from the 3 to 5 because it's the fifth video series. Next, we change the h1 title here to create line primitive. Next, we need uh, to add a uh, select element that will allow the user to select a uh, primitive type. You can see this uh, select element contains three options. First is the point list, and next is line list. And finally, it's a line strip. So user can select any option from this list. And also, we keep this 
carries elements, and here with ID carries web GPU, and also we fix its size of this carries element. Now we can see with this file. Next, we need to make uh, some modification to our seeder code. From this src folder, open the seeders.ts file. In this file, we first need to replace the vertex definition because these three vertex are used to create a triangle in the, our third video. But right now, we have six vertices, so we need to replace this. So here is the six vertices. So we need to replace this vertices definition. Okay, this is the six vertices. Uh, in this example, we use one color, single color to create our primitive. So we need to remove this vertex color here. We don't need this. So also we need to remove all the color related code here, output and the color. Don't need this. Also, the fragment, the color definition, the input color from the vertex, we need to remove that. And also here, here we want to create a single color. We uh, manually define this vector for. Here we want to define a yellow color, 1.0, 1.0, 0.0, 1.0. Okay, this is a seder we are going to use when creating our, our primitives. So save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some change to our main.ts file. Open the main.ts file. First, we need to uh, import the jQuery. Take care of the user input, so it's easy to use the jQuery. Next, we need to change the function name from create triangle to create primitive. And also, we need to introduce the input argument, primitive type, and define its default value to point list. Then, we need to define the index format for strip primitive. You can see here the index format we define first is undefined. This is for the least primitives. If the primitive type equal to line string, we have to define index format to u int 32 type. So that's the requirement for the strip uh, primitive. Previously, we define random pipeline with the old format. Recently, Web GPU API has made some adjustment for the random pipeline format. So now we will use this new pipeline format here. We need to replace all the pipeline with the code. So we need to replace this pipeline definition. Okay, this is a new pipeline definition. Uh, remember, before we use the vertex stage and the fragment stage, but right now they change the vertex and uh, uh, fragment, so it just removed the stage. Another thing is inside the fragment, we introduce the target. Before we use a separate uh, I mean, color states to define the uh, output format, use a swap chain. This is a separate uh, color state. Right now, they just put inside the fragment section. This is more reasonable because the output format is a, actually the color format. This is part of the fragment because the fragment seeder is responsible for the color. So they put it to here. This is more reasonable. Another thing is here the primitive. Before we use the primitive topology uh, attribute to define primitive selection. But right now, they just change it to the primitive, and uh, it contains two uh, properties. One is the topology, this define the uh, primitive type. And also, another one is strip index format, which just define here. For the list, this is undefined. But for the strip, we have to use the format u int 32 type. So we just uh, introduce this and put it into here, the strip index format. 
that's uh, uh, new uh, pipeline the format. You can see the main structure is the same as before, but uh, just to make a little bit of name change and uh, a different placement. Another thing, the new adjustment is for the random path uh, descriptor here definition. You can see here we have a color attachment. Inside it, including attachment. Right now, they change to view. So we, and also, we need to add a store operation. This is a store operation to perform on view after executing the render pass. Now we need to make uh, uh, some change to this draw method here. Before we draw the triangle, we have three vertices here. Right now, for our problem, we have six vertices, so we need to change the three to six. And also, we can use the default parameter, so we can remove this. So this is draw six vertices. Next, we need to change this method to create primitive. We also need to add the primitive type selection by the user. This code allows the user to select different primitive type. Now we can save this file. Save this file. Up to now, we have finished our programming for this example. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bind our TypeScript code in production mode. OK, the bound file is created successfully. You can see here is our bound file min.bound.js. It's about 91 KIB. It is also very small. Now, from this uh, status bar area, we can click this go live link to open the default Chrome canary to view our primitive. So we click this link. Here is our default uh, point list uh, primitive. You can see 6.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The default size for the point is only one pixel, which is too small to be seen. Unfortunately, the current web GPU does not allow you to change the point size. Now we can view line list by selecting different from this drop down menu. Click line list. You can see a three line segment for every two vertices. This drop a line segment. We can also select line strip. You can see we create a continue line that pass through all the vertices. Now we complete our application. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video. I will post the link for the source code below this video. You can click the link to download the source code. I will end this video here. In next video, I will show you how to create triangle primitives in web GPU applications. See you next time. Bye.